And that treatment, of course, is, is light, um, in part because in winter you don't get much light, and so it makes some sense to be treating these people with light. Now, this is one way to do it, but this is not the way we would ordinarily recommend that people get light treatment. The way it's actually done now is with um, uh, light devices. And these are uh, lamps or uh, other devices that emit very strong light, uh, very intense light, much brighter light than you could get indoors on any, uh, in, in any uh, office or uh, household lighting. In fact, the light that's used, uh, we use as a measure of intensity is 10,000 lux. And that's about 50 times as bright as the brightest office lighting. Just for a comparison, in this room right now, you're sitting in less than 100 lux of light. So we're talking about 10,000 lux. And when you use that, that bright of a light, um, people need to sit under the lights for about 30 minutes or so a day. And by doing so, many of their depressive symptoms get better. And for uh, a lot of people, they go back to feeling almost like their summer selves so that all of these symptoms that I've talked about uh, get better. There are some interesting uh, new light devices so that you can see that these devices are quite small, quite portable. Uh, people can be uh, reading or eating or doing other things while they're sitting under the lights. But they do have to use the lights on a daily basis because when you stop using the lights in the winter, the symptoms come back. So ordinarily, they'd be using it through the winter, through the time that they would ordinarily depressed, and then stop using them this time of year when th there's more light available. Whenever we talk about effective light therapy, I li always like to say what it's not. And it's not just changing uh, the lights in your kitchen. As I mentioned, the lights are much brighter than you can, you can um, get in indoor light. It's definitely not tanning studios because, as you'll hear from these talks, what we understand about the biological and the therapeutic effects of light is that it's done through the eyes and not through skin exposure. And you shouldn't be opening your eyes in those tanning booths because of the risk of ultraviolet exposure. And it doesn't seem to be a special type of light. So whether it's uh, incandescent or fluorescent or light-emitting diodes, they all seem to help as long as it's intense enough, as long as it's bright enough. So um, most of the time we recommend a white light because uh, that's been proven to be safe uh, without um, having harmful effects to the eyes at that uh, degree of brightness. Uh, we've established some guidelines to help uh, doctors, psychologists, other health professionals uh, be able to use light properly. And so we've um, published these so that it's well available in terms of how you use the light, what are the things to look for, what are the mild side effects sometimes associated with light. And a lot of this information, including a lot of information for the public, is also available on our website for free download. Uh, from our SAD clinic at UBC Hospital. And you can see there the, um, uh, the uh, website address, uh, www.ubcsad.ca. So I would encourage you to, to visit that website. It's got a lot of useful information if you want to learn more about this treatment and about seasonal affective disorder in general. Now, this cartoon says, I won't be home until April. They switched me to the night shift. And you might wonder, which uh, drives much of our interest as well, how does light actually improve depressed mood? How does it affect your appetite? How does it affect your sleep? And it's a very interesting um, uh, area of research. Uh, we still don't know exactly how light works, but there are many theories about light. And one of the main theories relates to the effect of light on our body clocks, on our daily biological rhythms, what we call circadian rhythms, which means they occur every 24 hours. And we know that there are many aspects of human behavior that follow this 24-hour cycle. Uh, that means behaviors like the sleep-wake cycle, like body temperature, and like many hormones and brain chemicals go through these daily cycles. And we know that those cycles are controlled by a biological clock in the brain. One of the major science discoveries in the past decade 
is that this biological clock is located deep within the brain um, in the uh, suprachiasmatic nucleus of an area called the uh, hypothalamus. And we know that there's a, a pathway that leads from the eye, the retina, directly to that biological clock. And that's how light works to affect the, uh, the clock. One of the main theories for SAD is that uh, it's a disturbance of that clock. So that's like a form of jet lag. And you'll hear more about that in relation to, to other uh, conditions as well. And so they're not able to change their clock to adjust to the changing levels of, of daylight from summer to winter. And so they need an extra boost. They need this bright light signal in order to reset, to resynchronize that clock. That's one of the theories. But we also know that the clock also affects many brain chemicals, things like serotonin, noradrenaline, dopamine. And those are all brain chemicals that have been implicated in um, people becoming depressed, that there's uh, a problem with those brain chemicals. And we know that, for example, some antidepressant medications help to regularize those brain chemicals, and that's how they work to help with depression. And it's possible that light also does something similar to those neurotransmitters. So this says, do you ever feel you're on the verge of an incredible breakthrough? And we've been working with light now for the past 20 years. We think it's a very good treatment for people with seasonal affective disorder with mild side effects. We would really like to see it used more than it probably is. And in part, it's because many people still don't know about the uh, treatment, don't know how to use it, whether that's health professionals or consumers. And so it's important to get that information uh, out to people. Here in Vancouver, we know that uh, many uh, drugstore shoppers, Drug Mart, for example, carries a range of light therapy devices. So it is now easy to get a light therapy device, and it, it'll be important to uh, make sure that health professionals everywhere, doctors, nurses, uh, other mental health clinicians, know about this, um, this treatment so that they can offer it for use in people who uh, it can benefit. So I want to finish there, and I just want to say again that uh, our Society for Light Treatment and Biological Rhythms, which does research into seasonal depression as well as other conditions that you'll hear about, uh, has a very good website with a lot of information, and I would uh, encourage you to visit that as well at uh, sltbr.org. Thank you.